How you doing today? Doing things with Steve, Indiana. Looking at the water bill the other day, and the old lady been arguing about it, man, for a long time. They sit there and charge you sewage for what water that you're using. Well, what if you're not taking a shower? What if you're not doing dishes? You know, all that goes down the drain. You pay for the sewage. But what if you're outside? What if you want to fill a bird bath up or water your plants, water your garden? You're going to run the water from in your house, do the doggone meter, and they're going to charge you an outrageous sewage bill when the water's not even going through the sewage. It's going right back into the ground. Kind of been thinking about it. And I, last year I was going to do it, and I just didn't do it. But this year I said, I'm going to, I'm going to do it. I went out the other day. Got two barrels. 30 gallon barrels. They already had their tops cut out of them, which was a, a, a helpful thing because I would have cut them out anyway. So, anyway, on this side it has 5, 10, 15, all the way up to the 30 gallon mark. So, I want to, I made one already here. So, I'm going to show you how to make it and how easy it is. First thing I got to do is get a barrel. My wife got on the phone and she found barrels for uh, ten dollars a piece. So I was actually wanting to buy, you know, four or five of them. But when I get out there, there's only two left. So I buy the two the guys got. I'm screwing together here. A hole drill. And I'm going to put this on the screwdriver, on the drill. <laughs> I went out to Walmart and bought these. I think I paid, I don't know, $10 for them. Different sizes. Well, I go out in the garage and I find the three that I have after I had to look real hard for them. And I find out the only one I didn't have was an inch and a quarter. Well, you just can't go out and buy one. You got to buy them all. So anyway, I'm going to take this inch and a quarter. And I'm going to drill a hole. Now, I, you know, these have already been cleaned. They're ready to go. I'm going to drill this hole right right about halfway between the bottom and the five gallon mark. Got the bit that goes on that to help it drill so that you get, once it starts drilling, you don't have to worry about it slipping and sliding all over the place. Down in 
put that on there and you're going to think it's just not going to fit. But it is. It, it, it's a tight fit, though, so give me, give me some time here. Oh, man. That thing's going in there tighter than a bullfrog's asshole. Water tight. Oh, last pop. See that? Make sure you get that last pop in there, man. Wasn't so bad. Now we're going to put this on. I sat there and tried to get the cap, the, the sear cap on, on this one yesterday. And I was turning it and turning it. And I'm thinking, what the hell, man? This thing ain't wanting to go on. So I thought, well, maybe I'm putting it on the wrong way. Tighten. <laughs> well, at least I was smart enough to figure out I was putting it on the wrong way. Put this back here. Keeps the front piece in, keeps it watertight, it won't leak. I put water in this one overnight, like three gallons, and there's no there's no water on it. Now comes this part. Let's rip this on here. Costly. Costly. Uh, I got good, you know, brass or whatever. Don't want it to rust. It's going to be outside. I want it to last a long time. Uh, you're gonna pay a couple bucks for this, but you could have got the, you know, the more cheaper ones, galvanized, whatever, man, with the plastic tops on them. Wintertime, they like to get cold freeze. What the heck? They're worthless. So, here we are. I'm gonna put some tape on this. And always remember, to put your tape on the opposite way the thread goes. Put that on tight. It's all good.
don't. I just cut myself on that plastic. Grabbing it, just rubbing it across. Anyway, oh well. There's what I got. Now, to finish it off, I'll be right back. There's a reason why a wife doesn't uh, allow me to shave myself, as you can see. Uh, get me around something sharp, and it, it, I'm going to do damage with it. So anyway, I went in, <laughs> got that finger took care of, and uh, got screened. Again, Walmart, the perfect place to be, man. You can go out there and get everything you need, uh, except the barrel. Went out there to get a barrel. They had some fancy schmancy freaking barrel like we had some $20,000 yard, you know, uh, landscape out there. Some sweet, what? How much for it? $100? Jesus, crying out loud, you know what I mean? I thought Walmart was supposed to look out for it. You know, poor man. The man don't want to go out and spend that kind of money. I, I laughed, $100? <laughs> I don't care how pretty it looks. I'll paint it. I don't, I don't care. So I'm going to put the screen on it. Went out to Walmart. Got a pretty good thick screen. Alright. The reason for this, obviously, is when the water is going to come off of the roof into there, uh, twigs, leaves, crap like that, I don't want inside the water. Uh, and, of course, I don't want bugs going in there. I don't want no bats or no birds flying in it and drowned it. And mosquitoes. I'm not going to get in there and have that Nile disease in my yard. So anyway, put the screen on it. I, I know later on, when it starts getting warm, there's going to be evaporation coming out of this. But I already figured that out. I'm just going to go out to Walmart or one of these big lots or one of these stores. I'm going to get the top for a 30-gallon trash can. But it's not right. Put it right on top of it. Same with this one. Uh, if, if they're going to charge me too much money, I'll go back in the garage, I'll scrape up some wood, build me a couple square things with a handle on it, boom, put it on the top for you, you know. Uh, you pretty much know it's going to rain. If I'm going to be gone for a doggone weekend and I think it's going to rain out, I'll take the freaking top off and then let it rain. If it don't rain, what am I going to lose? A eighth of an inch of water is not, it, it's not that big of a deal. I don't have the guttering on this side. I don't want to go to put the guttering on in the downspout because I'd like to have about 10 of these by the time I'm done with it. This is going to be my, you know, my guttering. The water is going to fall on this and I'm going to love it. So anyway, I'm going to keep these on here around it by getting some of these and just hooking them together. Pull that bad boy up a little bit. Put it on the wrong side. You know, sometimes you just get bad ones with these. Oh, I went up the wrong side. Put it in the wrong side. There, you hear that click? We're on. Is four going to be enough? Nope. Probably going to need another one. Man, 80 degrees yesterday. Whatever today, 78, 79, 80. Can't beat it. Can't beat it. I'm doing this one early. It's a real windy day. And I wasn't really sure if I even wanted to come out and do it, but I had to get it done because it looks like it's going to continue being windy for a while. So. I'm going to connect this end over here, like so. It's a good thing it's got a little lip on there underneath it. So I just try to pull this a little bit and get it tight. Oh, yeah? yeah. You hearing that tight? I don't really care about the frog butt tightness on this one, though. Eventually, you'll end up taking these off. Uh, storing them for the winter, taking the water out of them, whatever. Sooner or later, the screen is going to go bad on it. Cut it. Another thing I like about having the screen 
and on the top is uh, this, this is all going to be for watering plants. So imagine the time I'm going to save, man, putting all these two gallons in that squirting thing that we got over there, trying to make Roundup, or not Roundup, but um, Miracle Grow every time we want to, you know, once every couple weeks. Hell. Now, when I shut this off, is I'll trim all this excess off here so it looks a little bit better, like this one. So, you're all going to get a little bit better view of it here in a little bit because I'm not done. Now, I need to find a place under my roof over there that I want it on, and I definitely want it off the ground. But I'm telling you what, I'm not going to go buy cinder blocks and paver stones and stuff, man, that you know, raise it up in here. I I don't throw wood away. Bubby brought me some wood a few months back because you just coming home and said, Dad, look at that wood on the, on the uh, you know, somebody's front yard there by the trash can. She stops, brings it home, opens it up. Hey, 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 look at that guy, man. You think you can use this? Not today, but throw it in the, throw it in the garage. I don't say, hey, if there's a piece of wood two foot long, I don't give a damn, two by four, you know, uh, it's going in the garage. And I'm going to use it. Uh, we took part of our uh, privacy fence back down there a while back. And you had to see what I've done with that wood. Every bit of it's gone. And there was a lot of wood. Every bit of that wood's gone. The four by fours that we've used, I've used already. Now I'm going to shut this off. And uh, we'll get with you guys here in a minute. I'm going to take this stuff out of the way. The seems it's so windy, I think I'm going to build my table for these right here. And plus it's shady out there. It's, it's total sunlight. So uh, I think we'll, we'll cut this off. We're going to take a little break. And uh, when I come back out here, we're going to switch tools and we're going to put this thing together and uh, show you what the ending is going to look like. Back to make the table. Lovey and I, she come out and she helped me pre-cut all this wood last night. So it's just going to be like putting a puzzle together. Hopefully, maybe twice, cut once. Duh. Anyway, two drills. Got the electric one. I'm going to drill a hole in this just to get a base going for it. got three inch screws only because I'm going to get the two by fours here in a little bit. Number two, number two bit. Now I'm leaving a, a inch clip on this. Two more of them in here. What the hell? Can't get that tight enough.
Calgary Chargers last night. Oh well. One down. Making it 24 inches. Why? All right, 44. Bobby popped over and helped me measure them apart back there. Some reason she just don't want to be on YouTube, eh? That's all right. Switch these real quick because this is running low and I think it'll drill better. Again. <laughs> At least they don't give you a chuck. You got a hand tight in it, you know. Baby. If I don't at least drill into these parts here, though. Hey, 
not looking for beauty, but I'm looking for functional. While you guys were, I was uh, off, I had to get Bobby to come around and help me do some of this. So we had to shut the video on. And all I'm doing now is going around, uh, put more screws in to help stabilize it. I still got to do some shaving and trimming on this one to make it look a little bit better. But, you got an idea. There it be, you know. This is actually only sitting on two of them right here. Number three is here. If I wanted, I could move it and make it sit on four. I might end up doing that. I 
sure if them bad dogs are going to work out like that or not. breaking down at all. I'll put another one across here or something else. Plus, if, if I want to run a hose, right now, if I want to fill up a bucket, comes down quite hard. Now, two reasons why I actually did it this way. I could have made this the one with the spout on it. I could have took PVC pipe and cut holes up here, put a hole, uh, PVC between them, so that when one fills, they both fill. But it don't matter, because they're both filling up from the top at the same time. But I could have still put a PVC down here for when I wanted to drain this one. Drain this one first. This one will obviously drain back over to here and run it out. But the reason why I spent the